Oh, oh. Showing uh, maturity. And that is his days. Body shot by Maran. Welcome back kapatid! Taong 2009 ang lumaban ng ating kababayan na si John De Maraon. Hinarap niya rito ang Tanzanian boxer na si Anthony Machias. Nakatay sa laban ang WBO Asia Pacific Bantamweight title. Ito ang unang pagdipinsa ng Pinoy sa kanyang hawak na WBO belt. Si John De Maraon ay tubong Sambonga del Sur. May edad na 24 at may malinis na record na 13 wins, 11 knockouts at wala pang talo. Habang si Anthony Machias ay may edad na 30 at may record na 23 wins, 11 knockouts at unsing talo. Samantala sa laban ng dalawa ay dumayo pa sa Pinas ang Tanzanian upang tangkayang agawin ang titulo ng Pinoy. Mas lamang sa experience ang Tanzanian boxer ngunit hindi umobra sa lakas ng Pinoy. Sa pagsimula ng run ay pinatikim kaagad ng Pinoy ang lakas nito. Nagulat ang Tanzania ng tamanang straight na kaliwa ng Pinoy. Another left by Jundi Maraon and medyo na dulas doon. Jundi Maraon now is going for the kill. This is African. Bumabalik yung African ha. Oh yes, Bumabalik that, si Matias. Look at that. Akala niya nakaiwas na siya sa malakas na lip hook ng Pinoy. At inulit muli ang lip hook. Ayun siya Paul. Sa lakas ng suntok halos makaladkad ang Tanzanian. Jundi Maraon defending his regional title counter left to the body by Maraon pretty boy pretty much right by Matias left jab the rail any attempt from Maraon to connect that left but he again connects with a strong left combination body shot everything being thrown now by Jundi Maraon Good start for the pretty boy. He is a fighter in red, South Pole. Why? Matias now has a bloody nose. Oh, courtesy of that straight. Oh, good right there by Matias. No good. Parang malapad at matangkad si Maran for a bantam. Waiting for the right moment. Exactly what he did in the first round when he scored that knockdown. That's more of a slip. Oh, that was it. By Maraon. Binabantay na ni Matayas ngayon yung kaliwa ni Junti Maraon. Kung bababa pa yung superfly. Oh, terrifying name. Yes. Maraon stoppers African the Tanzanian once again. Sa round 2 ay nahuli na naman ng left straight ang Tanzanian at agad naman itong nakatayo. At suminyan sa referee na kayang-kaya niya pang lumaban. Laban pa rin. Bumabalik pa rin sa Matayas. Oh! Perfect Courtesy of that kind of left for Matias Usol. Now, around showing us that he's got power yes. also Sakana. He's now using his right hand, especially those body shots. Good left there by Matias. Using that. Talagang walang maigamit. Ginatama 
Ang kasi nung uh, Tsaka uh, hindi na siya stiff, no? Oh, yeah Medyo lumambot na rin Sa round 3, pinipilit ng Tanzania na makagati at makipagsabayan Ngunit hirap siya na maiwasan ang left straight ng Pinoy At na makadikit ito sa Pinoy ay nagpakula ng left straight ang Pinoy na sumapul sa pangan ng Tanzanian. Kaya gumiwang ito kaya hindi na tinantanan at niratrat na ng Pinoy ng mga kombinasyon na gusto nang tapusin ang laban. Ten seconds bago magtapos ang round 3, tinamaan muli ng left straight sa pull sa panga ang Tanzanian. Habang binibilangan ng referee ay sumayaw-sayaw ito para ipakita na kayang-kaya niya pang lumaban. Parang tinulak na. But that's the third time that Matias has been floored in this fight. Jundi Marani. Lumabang na, magtayo. Pero misa talaga kapag... That left straight of uh, Jundi Marat. Why, why is Poel the broth? He tagged uh, Matias with the left straight and hurt the Tanzania again. Two by gloves made in Cebu. And this is the first time out he defended. And uh, we're doing this to support... Uh, <laughs> That title is at stake. It's still round fight, and that's the end. Of and the Tanzanian fighter, Jundi Marawan, is title at stake. He's doing the job right now. That's a tough job. He's got great Good defense now with Jundi Marawan. Matibay itong Tanzanian. Combination. Oh, Mabot na yung long ng tansya niya. There's blood. Oh, good left. Right. There's a break. Hindi pa rin pwede mo kumpiyansa yung maraon dito. Yes. There's again the right. Meron pang left jab si Matias. Before that, Marano still in there. Combination by Matias. Nakakul na yung taparun. In six rounds, and he's still up there. He's changing partners. This is left. Yes. Left from Hawaii. Good right there by Matias. Good job. Very active with this left jab. A good left again. Sa round 6 ay pinatikim muli ng Pinoy ang bagsik ng left straight na tumama sa pangan ng Tanzanian na nagresulta ng pang-apat na knockdown nito. Agad naman nakatayo ang Tanzanian at binigyan pa ng pagkakataon ng referee na lumaban. I think it's hurt. There's no more dancing. No more dancing for Alcuni. Ngunit ang makita ng referee na sunod-sunod na tinamaan ng mga left straight sa muka ay tinigil na ng referee ang laban. Ngunit nagwala at di matanggap ng Tanzanian ang paghinto ng laban. Ang corner ng Tanzanian ay sumang-ayon naman sa paghinto ng referee. Panalong ating kababayan by 6th round technical knockout. At sunod na nakalaban ni Jun Dimaraon ang Amerikanong si Ernie Marquez na dalawang bisis bumagsak sa round 2 at round 3 na parehong body shots. Panalo si Maraon by a 3rd round TKO. Taong 2013 ang huli nitong naging laban kontra sa undefeated na si Juan Carlos Payano. Oh, Left hand and then a sweeping right hand to the body and he scores the knockdown there. 
in the Six, final seconds seven, of eight, round number. number. You know, for a feint there, he actually, his body goes back for a moment, just the opposite of what you're looking for him to do. There's a good offense. Tinalo si Maraon by a knockout sa round 7. Dahil sa pagkatalo nito ay hindi na muling umakyat pa ng ring si John Di Maraon at iniwanan nito ang mundo ng boxing. Dalawang Pinoy pa na biktima ni Juan Carlos Payano, sina Mike Plainya at Raymond Tabugon. At yan muna mga kapatid and I always thank you for watching.